If you're a metal recycler, demolition expert, or electrical contractor, you've likely run into surplus transformers. And you might have wondered, just how much are these green boxes actually worth? Well, they're worth a lot more than you might think. And if you've got a few sitting around, you might be sitting on a gold mine. Today, we're talking about how to get the most money for those old transformers. There are three options. First, keep it as a spare. Second, scrap it. Or third, sell it to a rebuilder, like Maddox. The first option is pretty straightforward. If you've got a surplus transformer in good condition and you're running a mission critical project, it might be best to keep it around just in case you need it in the future. The materials inside of a transformer do have some value. So recyclers will buy the transformers to scrap the steel from the tank, the aluminum or copper from the windings, and the insulating oil. They'll strip these components down to the raw materials and sell it on the commodity market. Just like oil prices, these material prices fluctuate quite a bit. But as of today, the materials inside a liquid-filled unit add up to be worth about 75 cents a pound for a unit with copper windings and about 10 cents a pound for a unit with aluminum windings. If you've got a transformer that has experienced catastrophic failure like this or has fluid that contains toxic PCBs, scrapping is probably your best bet. But if you've got a transformer that seems like it might be repairable or still has some life left in it, you can make a lot more money by selling it to a rebuilder like Maddox, between three to five times the value, depending on the design and condition. A 1,000 kVA transformer like this might be worth about $800 to $6,000 if scrapped, or between $2,400 and $18,000 if sold to Maddox. This is by far your most lucrative option if you've got a repairable transformer on your hands. Maddox buys surplus transformers, takes them apart, replaces the old and broken components, reconditions them, recertifies them, and redeploys them onto the grid. Here are some of the advantages over simply scrapping your transformer for raw materials. First, you get more money. Like, a lot more. This is a win-win scenario. We're able to give you more money for your surplus transformers, and then we're able to sell them to a customer for less than the price of new transformers. Second, reconditioning a transformer is also the most environmentally friendly means of disposing of your transformer. The process doesn't require the energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions associated with both manufacturing new transformers and scrapping old ones. So at this point, you're probably wondering, just how much cash can I get for my old transformer? There's no single answer. We've paid up to hundreds of thousands of dollars for some large substation transformers, and maybe only a couple hundred bucks for some low voltage dry type transformers. So if you come across some old transformers, I'd encourage you to reach out to our purchasing team to get an offer today. Hope you found this video helpful, and make sure to subscribe to Maddox's YouTube channel for more transformer tech tips just like this.